this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to thank y'all for coming over here today. I appreciate um, all the support. Um, support your two-way challenge, your gun challenge. People we need all the help we can. I think the new people coming to the two-way community, people are going to need the long-run people when it comes to upholding the Constitution and defend the Second Amendment. Also, um, huge shout out to y'all that smash that like button, share it on your favorite social media platform. I appreciate y'all. It don't cost you nothing. If you're not subscribed, hit the notification button, people. You know what we drop. We drop daily videos. You never know what we're going to drop over here. We're always looking at something that's going on when it comes to your Second Amendment and stuff like that. And also, um, another shout out to y'all that come over here every single day through the good and the bad and ups and downs. Nothing moves in the straight line, people. So you already know what time it is, people. Let's get into it. Guess what? Ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. It's ammo time. Ammo is a new goal. Everybody's trying to get it. And so, you know, one thing we're going to talk about is ammo inspection, people. Um, ammo inspection. You know, you know, I get a lot of comments and stuff since I dropped the video about ammo. A lot of y'all giving out a lot of great information and stuff. But one thing when it comes to ammo, people, I'm to my, I don't care if you buy it out of the retail box or you, you, wherever you get it from. I don't care how you get it. Inspect each ammo as you was loading it in the magazine. Now, you're going to see some videos. I'm to my, you've seen the video when I was just pretty much open a fresh box of, um, ammo, you know, a fresh box and stuff that I bought. And guess what? You know, loading the magazine, looking at it, and boom, there was a um, ammo that had, you know, a defects to it. Now, a lot of people commented about it that, hey, you know, it's probably, it's, it might comment or whatever the case may be, it, it, it's not a big deal, it's a still function. It quite, it, it quite might be. But, you know, there has been a lot of situations and articles over the years where people didn't inspect their ammunition. Now, one thing, you why you need to inspect your ammunition, because that's one of the questions I got. Why do I need to inspect it? For one is, you're carrying your EDC ammo, you're carrying ammo on your farm now, in a case that you need to defend yourself, you don't want nothing to go wrong. You don't want to have a jam. You don't want to have a situation where, you know, you have been held up to defend yourself and stuff. So when it comes to, you know, self-defense or whatever, you don't have time for a malfunction. Now, it can happen, but you really don't. You want to eliminate all that as possible, people. Now, I was getting a lot of questions. I know it's a lot of new people in the 2A community. Why should I inspect it if I bought it? Because, you know, no manufacturer, nobody is going to be 100% when it comes to the ammo. A lot of your manufacturers are producing hundreds of thousands of, of rounds to my per, how they rate that they're producing it. The problem is they're producing millions and millions. And a lot of companies have great quality control. You know, if you look at the capacity of ammo that they're pumping out. But these things happen. I'm looking at medical, uh, military articles and stuff of ammunition defects and, and problems they had to deal with and stuff like that. Also, you know, as citizens, you know, as gun owners in this country, you know, you need to expect this. I'm to my, there's been a lot of kabooms and stuff and firearms. People have been hurt. Um, I'm to my, you know, severe injuries, people, because of ammo and stuff. You got to inspect it. I'm to my, you know, you got a lot of cameras like the 22s and stuff that is very eligible, you know, very easily that it's pretty much there they can be damaged easily people you know i i had had ammo and stuff you can the 22 you can take the head off stuff on so you know a lot of this ammo you have to kind of inspect it you can look at bullet seating and stuff like that if the bullets sit a little lower um you know look at every caliber people because it's very important that you do that and you know i want to put that on your radar and stuff because you know the video that i was doing and you know you're gonna see the ammo and stuff, we're going to look at it. But when I was just showing you, you know, them little defects and stuff, it could have huge, um, you know, implementation um, on you and, and your farm. It could damage your gun and stuff like that. So, you know, anything that you can do to eliminate any issues when it comes to your firearm, your ammo and stuff like that, people, uh, to my, you can do it. These are little simple things. And, you know, a lot of people uh, probably don't do this. Uh, to my, a lot of people probably just think, hey, you know, I bought it. It's good. And just load the magazine, not really paying attention. Um, so it had happened. I had a couple of articles where people had had situation at the range and stuff like that because of bad ammunition and stuff like that. It had happened. Some of you probably have witnesses of that and stuff like that. So it's very important, people, that you look at these type of things and everything when it comes to your ammo. And don't think just because, you know, that's just like I tell people, if you're in a firearm shop or retailing something, somebody hand you a firearm and everything, 
inspect that firearm every single time. When you do that, you're protecting yourself and others around you and everything like that. That should be something you should be constantly doing. It should be normal, a normal day-to-day -day or whatever basis. Anytime somebody hand you a firearm, no matter where you at, make sure it's clear and stuff like that. Because I tell you the story, some of y'all probably remember that. I told you the story when I was in a uh, gun shop and it was a gun for sale and I picked it up. And what happened was it was a used firearm, but guess what? Somebody failed to clear it. So as I was, and that gentleman had picked the firearm up before I even, I seen him pick it up, look at it, and he laid it back down. Now, when I picked it up, I noticed through the slide, I can see it look like, ooh, some bullets and stuff. And I was like, well, you know, if it's dummy rounds, most times they won't even have nothing. The magazine's supposed to be empty, period. So, you know, it was a good thing nobody racked that firearm because that was been one in the chamber. And right across the street from the store is a road that's going by cars passing all the time. Now, if somebody would have pulled the trigger, any little thing, it would have went off people. So when I picked up, I dropped the magazine. Those was live ammunitions and stuff. But because I constantly pra practice safety and everything, and I expect every form I touch, I say a tragedy, anything could have happened and stuff like that. So, you know, the person with the, the shot was notified, you know, and everything. But what it is, they took a trade in and stuff, and somebody just put the gun out for sale, didn't clear it and stuff. Even in a shop, you got to clear every form somebody bring you for a trade in, a sale, or whatever the case may be. Because, you know, people missteps people, and one misstep can cause somebody their life or injuries and stuff. Same thing when it comes to ammo. I'm to my, you can buy ammo from all your retailers and stuff because it's packaged up. And what we talked about doing, you know, when this ammo thing popped off, gun, sh gun shows and stuff, people selling, remanufacturing ammunition, um, you know, people reloading and stuff, and they're selling it. And then guess what? I'm to my, when you're doing that, it's even more risk. You got to be more on top of that. Because if you got 30 or 40 rounds, uh, you know, that you just bought from somebody and seeing like 80% of those rounds it got some issues and stuff because of their reloading qualities or they didn't, anything can happen to people. You put everybody at risk, including yourself, most of all. So make sure you stay on top of that and everything because, you know, this fact of the matter of um, there's ammunition injuries all the time because people fail to inspect that and everything. So when it comes to ammo, people, we got to put everything on the radar and everything, and we're going to do that over here. And like I said before, is I'm always constantly learning. You're going to always constantly learn no matter how much you know about farms. When you think you know too much about farms, people, it's time for you to get out of it because you're going to end up getting yourself hurt and somebody else. I was told that for a long time. Those are the principles that, you know, you must live by in the two-way community and everything. So no matter how much you know, people, follow the, the basic safeties because if you don't believe me, just pull up your headlines. Just pull up firearms and stuff like that, guns and stuff, and see what you see in there. You're going to see injuries. You're going to see all people who fail to follow the steps, the, the, the you know, farm laws and stuff like that, and other people getting shot and injured and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just crazy. It's just out of control right now. So we must follow the laws and stuff like that So when it comes to firearms. So just want to kind of talk about that and everything, put that on your radar. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.